My name's Garrett, welcome back to Gun Gamers. Today I have the AVS 1000 pack. Now it's a super modular and flexible backpack system that I found to be super useful for airsoft games. First up, let's talk about an overview. As you can see, it's actually fairly tall. It'll cover the back plate bag of a plate carrier of your choosing. I've used this with multiple different ones, not just the cry plate carriers. Uh, on the front, you have some small four-way stretch material with uh, zippers. This one has a single, this one has double zip. Uh, and then there's a smaller pocket up top here that goes about halfway. The large main compartment opens up about halfway. Uh, inside, I have a bladder right now. However, uh, there's actually a rigid piece of plastic inside that allows some structure to the pack. So it's not like it's gonna flop around a lot uh, and it doesn't stick out very far from your back, which I actually really like that compared to say a Haley Strategic flat pack. When it's fully expanded, it can kind of flop around on your back. This, I haven't found that to be a huge issue uh, with this structure uh, piece inside and just the design of the pack itself. Uh, because it's part of the AVS system, the adaptive vest system by Cry Precision, a lot of it is super adaptable, so you can mount it all different kinds of ways. So the way I have it set up right now is actually a different custom job that I have set up. Uh, I'll go over that in a minute. But as far as what the pack comes with, it actually comes with all these different pieces and adapters in order to fit it onto a plate carrier or uh, a chest rig or whatever style you prefer. So it comes with standard pack straps uh, like this. So you just connect everything uh, and you just have regular padded stra uh, backpack straps. It's a nice Y shape so it conforms to your body really well. Uh, and then you have these lower pieces which are connected to this, which we'll get to in a second. You have these lower pieces that connect to the bottom and that's how you adjust the pack to get it nice and tight. Uh, as far as plate carrier mounting, there are multiple options to be able to connect this pack. Uh, you can do a fixed configuration where you just attach the pack to the back using standard molly. There's a molly underneath this pad here. Uh, there's molly straps right here. Uh, and you can weave molly using this adapter piece right here. So you can just straight up attach it to your back. Uh, you can utilize a self access system where you run these at the top of the pack down across your uh, shoulders. And then this allows you to take off the pack. You just pull this out and then that disconnects and you can swing the pack off to one side or you can completely remove it if you don't need it. It also comes with a set of these uh, one inch ITW buckles. You can just attach this to some loops specifically for the AVS itself. Uh, but I found you can kind of attach these to some other plate carriers as long as they have some one inch webbing loops. Uh, the pad is removable. So if you need to get access to the backside as well, uh, these pieces are part of the self access along with this. But the feature that I really like about it is that the AVS 1000 can be a rear plate bag replacement. So you can see I have this micro harness from Axle Advanced uh, down in Texas, and it's attached to the AVS pack like the Cry AVS harness is. So the, the pack has these side webbing uh, loops that you can run AVS stuff to. You can connect the micro harness, the regular Cry harness, uh, or even something in between. You could just set it up plain like a JPC even. You can just weave a cummerbund through here and tie it using shock cord and then throw the back pad on it and you can run it like that as well. Uh, there's lots of options. Uh, like I said, I say that a lot, but there's so many different ways to configure this pack and that's why I not only have one, I have two of these. Uh, these upper straps right here are to allow you to connect to shoulder straps. Uh, for the AVS or possibly another plate carrier that's compatible. I have the axle structure ones that I use with this. Um, 
Right now, I have it set up with some mission spec pack strap enhanced. Uh, these are originally designed for a flat pack, actually, but I have them woven in the top here, so that way I have the ability to you to connect this with the chest rig. And this can be a backpack attached chest rig to replace something something more comfortable to me than a flat pack. Uh, as far as some other features that I might have missed, there is a, a water bottle holder that is stretch material on the side. And then over here, I have my Nalgene in a different pouch, but there's three columns of Molly that you can attach any pouch that you want. Uh, of course, there's a carry, a handle up top, but there's all different ways to configure this pack. There really is. You almost can't explain it in one video. There's so many different options and this all comes with it. It comes with it in this uh, TMC clone and it also comes with the Cry Precision one as well. All this stuff is included, minus the axle and this stuff. Uh, but this stuff you see right here comes with it. So you have lots of flexibility and options to Put this pack on however you like it. Space-wise, uh, it's called the AVS-1000. I suspect because it's a thousand cubic inches. I don't know that for certain. Um, I found size-wise, it's probably between a flat pack fully closed and a flat pack fully open because you can put a lot of stuff in those. And I know those are 600 cubic inch and 1300 cubic inch uh, between the two. Um, expansions. Uh, I just like the, the profile of the pack is nice because it fits within a plate bag. You can fit up into an extra large sappy plate in the back. So this can replace your rear plate bag on a JPC, AVS, or other similar style carrier. Uh, and even then, you could probably adapt it to some other stuff. I've adapted this to a 6094 that I had laying around. I made it, uh, I attached it to the back of it. Uh, so this particular one is a TMC replica. Uh, it's outfitted very similarly to the Cry one, and actually, I love this so much, I bought two. Uh, this one is a legit Cry Precision one, however, uh, because that's what was available at, uh, at the time. Right now, the TMC one's kind of difficult to find, so the real Cry one is kind of your option. Unfortunately, the real Cry's only come in black, Ranger Green, and Multicam, multicam and Coyote. The TMC ones used to come in all those colors, AOR1, AOR2, lots of like really odd patterns. I was trying to get a wolf gray one because that'd be, that's my favorite color, uh, but I can't find it. Uh, they, TMC calls it the AVS Zero, but if you can find them, they're great packs. They're about identical. Uh, there are small differences, however, the zipper pulls on the TMC are just shot cord with this tubing. The Cry ones have these like legit plastic zipper pulls on it. The webbing is thicker on the Cry one compared to the TMC. And I think some of the, the stitching quality is a little bit nicer and the button snaps are a little bit nicer. For the most part, they're the same pack. Of course, the Cry one also comes with all the accessories to mount everything. I don't have all that stuff here just because I didn't want to haul all that stuff. And I carry, I carry a lot of the stuff for the Multicam one in the pack. I just didn't do it for the, for the Ranger Green one. Uh, between both of them, there's obviously a price difference. I think the AVS Zero from TMC is around 90? Really? Depending. I mean, you're going to pay shipping. You're right. I was going to guess 100. Um, it's around between 90 and $100. The Cry one is 250 uh, This one I picked up used, so I paid a little bit less than that, but I'm missing some of the parts too. So that's, it kind of evens itself out. Overall, this is my go-to pack right now. If I could get more of these to cover all the different color options that I have in my armory or arsenal, whatever you want to call it, I absolutely would, whether they be the TMC or the Cry one. I, I don't have a need for a black or a coyote one. It'd be nice to get some of the other colors that the TMC one came in. I wish Cry Precision would open up more color options, especially now that they've added Multicam Black and a few other stuff to their JPC line and some of their other existing stuff. It'd be nice that they open that up to more of the AVS components at least for civilians. That's gonna be it for this video. Nice short and sweet here from Garrett, which is an odd one for sure. 
I'm Garrett from Gun Gamers, and I'll see you next time.